the autogen assistant this is a new tool that allows you to control and create agents from the front end using as you can see a uh, web ui instead of operating and generating agents on the back end using visual studio code from a functionality from a functionality perspective it is still pretty similar to what you can do on the back end and on the back end you pro can probably do more but this is a very straightforward and simple tool that I believe will keep on improving as time goes by because the Microsoft team has been publishing new projects very fast and this agenting and autogen specifically the autogen repository has been moving forward very very fast before I show you exactly how this autogen assistant looks like let me share with you like uh, some information regarding the installation which is very straightforward it's I think it's the easiest installation I've encountered basically you can read more about this in the autogen blog which is also a lovely resource for learning about the uh, autogen and all the improvements that Microsoft publishes in this specific project in this case um, very straightforward you can install using pip install autogen RA then you can just start running the application and this is exactly what I did and you will find it over here there are also other ways to install but this was the fastest and most efficient in my opinion now what we have here basically is a front end which somewhat looks like the, a chat front end but you know all chats front ends are pretty straightforward and similar what you can do over here is create new sessions in which every session basically um, deletes all the cache and start everything from zero from scratch so there's no knowledge of the agents no memory no nothing so you can create new sessions over here you can add new skills which are basically which is kind of similar to adding functions you see you can this is a sample skill replaced with your own skill function so this is an example we import numpy we import a uh, matplot library and then we have this function and this is this becomes part of the capabilities so you can see here in the global skills we can scratch a profile we can find papers in the archive in the archive and we can generate images so these are the functions we covered the sessions and the most important thing is actually the generation of the agents at the moment because this project is so new we have restrictions regarding the amount of agents that we can create we still cannot create a, a multi-agent conversation we only have two agents and what we can do is just uh, here in the settings we can change the amount of consecutive auto replies we can change whether or not we want a uh, human input so you know we can do never terminate or always we can add a system message and here we can we have similar attributes for the receiver consecutive auto replies human input system message and underneath we have all the models that we would like to use in the assist yeah and that's pretty much it as soon as you set everything up you have autogen assistant in your front end very limited at the time being but I suggest keeping an eye on this project as it evolves because having the ability to create agents from the front end is simplifies life to a certain degree and I'm sure that we will add a lot of add-ons on this and this will keep on evolving and being a very exciting project. If you enjoyed this video please let me know if you have any questions obviously like subscribe to the channel like the video and share with your friends and until next time keep on automating and keep on building agents